there, welcome to Create Full Art. Today I would love to show you how to paint this pumpkin painting. It's gonna be very simple and very loose and fun to paint. So you just need a few supplies. You're gonna wanna have something to paint on. You can use a piece of paper, a canvas, or a canvas panel. This is an eight by eight. You can use whatever size you want. You're gonna need some colors. These are the colors that we've mixed for the fall season. You can go ahead and click right here to become a Create Flower Art member and get the color mixing video so you can mix right along with me. If you wanna get the reference photo, go ahead and click right here. This will help you paint along. The colors are listed in the description, but I'll also let you know what they are right here. We have Quano Cridone Magenta, Cadmium Red Light Hue, Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue, Thalo Cyan Blue Green Shade, Bronze Yellow, Titanium White, and Black. So you can use Ivory Black or whatever black you have. This is all part of a set that I have listed in the description. I'm gonna have a few brushes. If I use them, great. If I don't, well, they were there at least. So I have my palette knife, this helps me mix. I have my toothbrush, this helps me make splatters. I have an eight round brush. And I have a small zero detail brush. I have my favorite flat brush, which is a half inch. And then my wash brush. Then all I need is water and my paper towels. And I'm ready to paint. So I would like to make a muted dull background so that my pumpkin will stand out and to do that, I'm going to mix my orange and my blue to make a gray. And then I grab my white to lighten it up. So you might have to add more orange or more blue depending on which way your color is leading. And I'm gonna take my half inch flat brush and I'm going to make a line right down here. So if I were to split this in thirds, it would be the line that's right down here on the third mark and just straight across and I give several art lessons on composition if you click right over here you can get those lessons it doesn't even have to be perfect as long as it's just straight across now I'm gonna grab my wash brush and I'm going to dab it into my white and a little bit of this blue down here and going to have this a lighter value but it's gonna have some blue in it and notice I'm just going in a crisscross pattern I'm not going to cover up that line completely this is very loose painting so it's just for fun just get that color down there now I want a darker color up here but I want it lighter than that so I'm gonna get my gray on there and then I'm just going to take some white to lighten it up. And then fill up this whole thing at the top with that color. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the darker gray. And I'm just going to go a little bit around these edges. That's just going to frame it in a little bit better. And then you let this dry and you're ready for the next step. So for this step, I'm going to grab my detail brush and I'm just going to outline my pumpkin. I'm going to use orange here and I want to fill in this space. So I'm just going to make these round things back here and start moving forward. So round, round, round. I want it to reach the side. So I can always go over this and change things, make it bigger. So I'm seeing where I want this pumpkin to fit into my composition here. So I'm gonna have it about an inch and a half from the side here and about an inch and a half from the side here. So it's centered. Then I'm gonna have it come down about an inch. So I'm going to bring this down. Like I said, this is just the sketching part so you can figure things out while you go. Or you can get the reference photo to help you. You'll have this finished to help you. 
by becoming a Crateful Art member, click right here and you get my reference photos for all my paintings. So you'll have an easier time figuring this all out. <laughs> And that's about as big as I want it. I like the size. I like where it's laying. Now this is where things will get, seem a little bit strange to you. But the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to fill in this color or this pumpkin with other colors. So I've got a purple here. And I'm going to fill in this with some of this purple. We'll have all kinds of different fun colors in here to go over the top. So just fill in your pumpkin with purple. Don't worry about it being a solid color. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the blue that's part of our palette. And I'm going to start defining these side areas just a little bit. See how I do that with my brush? I just put it to the side let it go this direction. So you want to have like a center area. So I'm going to pick right around here actually to be the center area. So go down from your top, erase these right here, and make a center area like right around here. And then these lines you can come back like this. Alright, so you're kind of making like spider legs coming out of that center area and coming down to the bottom. Now it's time to put in that shadowy dark color. Don't worry, it's going to end up being an orange pumpkin in the end. We're just getting some underlying colors. So I've got that dark brown on my brush and I'm going to make the shadow area. So see where I put that? It's going towards the center area. So I can shadow this center area for you so it's easier to see. And then I'm going where the crease is, so like where the pumpkin would dip in going along those areas with the dark. So I kind of did that same thing with the light blue, but now I'm going over it. I'm just going to go from the bottom up with some darkness here. And give it a little crease right there. Right, so this pumpkin is starting to form. Now for the stem, I'm going to use my same brush. And I'm going to go from the middle here and off to the side. I'm going to grab my black, a little bit of my black here. And there's going to be light on the side of this. So I'll go over it. I'm just going to give it kind of a slanted edge there. Now I'm going to create the shadow and I'm going to grab some of that darker gray and it's going to go right here on the side right up next to this pumpkin down below to about the middle point right here and of course it's rounded so make it rounded right here on the bottom but you don't necessarily have to right here at the top just make it straight across and then fill that in now right down on the bottom, you're going to make it this dark gray line coming to it. And then grab your black, go right under there. And some dark purple. And then I'm just going to take that gray. Kind of pull away from that purple and soften it as it goes towards the flatter gray. I'm going to take a little bit of my orange. Right now I'm using so much water on my brush that it's just a glaze. Okay, and that's the shadow.
The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my color here, my orange, and I'm going to splatter before I put on the last coat and stuff. So it's just going to make it kind of fun and playful. Okay. And I'm going to take my orange color and I'm going to start filling it in. So this is the darker of the color. the orange portion of it. So I'm going to go along the lines. All right? But this is very, very loose. And this is very, very playful. So just follow along with your brush strokes along those edges. Leave some of that color underneath to show. Okay, now I'm going to lighten up that color a little bit. Come up. See how it's a lighter color? That's a lot lighter color. That's going to be where you want the light to be shining. So right along here, right along this edge right here, just make some brush strokes in there. Right along here, And right along here. So the light's coming from this direction, that's why we have the shadow. And we're just going to have some of the light hitting the top here. See how it makes that look flat? Because it's a little bit flatter on the top here. So just turn your brush this way and make some streaks right here. Then grab that darker orange. Come through here. See how it's starting to form here? Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of my brown with my orange and come down here along this just to give it a different color. It's looking pretty. Just fun and loose. Alright, for the stem I'm just I have a tan color. I'm going to go along this edge. Stop at that bottom part right there. And then just to give it some more interest, I'm going to go along this edge right here. I'm going to break up this line right here just because it kind of looks a little unnatural. Add some streaks of the dark coming up. Okay, and just along this edge right here I'm going to add a little bit of orange. Okay, and then I'm going to add one more stinking highlight right here on this edge. See how that just makes it pop? Right here. Right here. A little bit right here, along this edge here, a lot right here, and a little bit along here. 
and soften this down here, bringing some of that orange color down to round it out. It's just really fun. Then you can make any changes you want to it. Add a little bit of black right down here. Just along that. And a little bit right here for some added dimension. I'm just going to go over some of the purple right over here with the dark orange. It's one of my changes. Just because the light's hitting from there, it'll be a little bit softer. I'm just making some changes how I see fit. Adding a little bit more dimension in some areas and just some more fun. So I'm adding a little bit of light right through here. Adding another layer. Even in a shadow there's lighter areas. Gray. I mean orange to my gray right here just to make some harmony. These are just my final touches. There's just things that I want to do. You don't have to do them at all. Just have fun and be playful. Then sign your work and you are done. Thank you so much for painting with me. I hope you had fun and I hope you learned a lot. If you want to learn more, go ahead and sign up for those weekly art lessons that I give. They're going to help you become a better artist and they're the foundations that you need to know as an artist so that you can create whatever it is you want. So go ahead and click right here or there's a link in the description or you can go to patreon.com slash createfulart to sign up. This tutorial is brought to you by my Create Full Art members. Thank you so much for making this video possible.